Hey everybody, so today I'm here to show you guys how to use your Medela Sonata breast pump. So this video might be a little bit back and forth. That is because there's a lot of different stuff with this pump than what you've probably seen with other ones before. There's also a lot of new stuff just to the Medela brand in general. So I am first going to start off by showing you guys some pamphlets. These are included with the pump when you buy it. I just wanted to show them because I think they're really useful. But just in case somebody might not have them, I wanted to talk about them. So the first one I wanted to mention was just this like little quick guide. I think this is super, super useful it obviously shows every little thing about the pump itself I'm going to go over most of this with you so you don't have to worry about that but I just wanted to put this on here just in case somebody didn't have it you can screenshot it save it to your phone and that way you are able to access it whenever you need now the next one I wanted to show is about flange sizing I really just appreciated this it is super super great information when it comes to flange sizing. A lot of people underestimate the right flange size. It is very, very important. It's really crucial to your pumping experience. There's a lot of different information in here. Just be sure to check this out if you get it. And then lastly, I wanted to talk to you about the owner's manual. This by far and away is one of the most detailed owner manuals for a pump that I've ever seen before. It is very, very detailed. It goes over the different troubleshooting you may need. It shows you what to wash, when to wash, all the different parts. There's even some technical information back here in the back if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I just wanted to definitely recommend reading through this. It's very helpful. I will say that if you don't have this for whatever reason, you lost it, you bought this pump secondhand, it didn't come with it, it is available online. There's a PDF that you can download. I will have a link in my Dropbox so you guys can look through this. It just has a ton of great information. So I would definitely check that out too. So next, I'm going to go over how to pair this pump to your phone. If you did not know, the Medela Sonata is a smart pump, which means that there's an app available. So you can see all your information on your app. You can log your pumps that way, and you can see a lot of different information about your pump on the app. I'm not going to go over every feature of the app just because it's really all-inclusive. There's a lot of details to it. It offers more than just pump logging. So if you want to check that out, you can download it for free right now. You don't need the pump to have the app, so you could check that out yourself. But I will be showing you what pertains to it as far as the pumping aspect goes. So about the app itself, this is what it looks like. You're going to want to download this one. It's just called My Medela. There we go, finally focus. So when you open that up, you want to go over here down to more. As you can see, I'm already logged in, so I don't have to make an account. You might have to make one if you don't already have one. You want to hit Sonata Breast Pump, and as you can see, this is going to walk you through it very, very easily. You're going to hit connect, and you have to go ahead and plug this in power-wise. The power port is back here, by the way, and the power button is right there. So now since I have it plugged in, you just hit next. It's telling me to go ahead, turn it on, and to press the let down button for three seconds. As you can see, it's found my breast pump. You want to confirm to finish pairing, hit complete, and you're ready to go. It's that easy. It's super, super simple. But I just wanted to show really quickly what that looked like. Now I'm going to show you guys how to assemble your pump parts to get ready to pump. So these are your pumping parts. As you can see, they are very different than probably what you're used to as far as Medela pumps goes. But I'm going to go over all these different things and how to assemble them. So as you can see, you have your typical Medela bottle. This is a bottle stand that will be included with your pump. I don't find them incredibly necessary just because Medela bottoms... <laughs> Medela bottles are pretty bottom heavy, so I've never had a problem with them tipping over, even on carpet. So, but it is an option, just to show you guys. But you have that right there, as you can see, typical flange. But this is your new valve. This is a connector body. This is your connector cap. And this is your membrane. So, it is pretty different. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a connector body. Obviously, make sure everything's clean. You're going to slip the membrane down inside here. You're just going to want to make sure that it's nice and flush, as you can see. You're going to take the connector cap, and you're going to put the side with the hole on it on the back here. I will say that the manual walks you through all of this. It's really, really easy. As you can see, that's what it's going to look like all the way around. Then you're going to take your valve. You can see it's going to align pretty nicely. 
So you just slip that down on there. This doesn't click or anything. You're just gonna make sure that it's nice and flush as well. And then you just go ahead and you take your flange and you pop it on right there. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It looks pretty intimidating, but it's really not. So this is what your whole setup is going to look like once you get it finished. So as far as tubing goes, this is your tubing. As you can see, there's like a bigger end, there's two smaller ones. This is obviously what's going to go in the back of your flange. This is what connects to your pump. So I'm going to make this a single pump as usual, just to show you guys how to do it. You just put it right down inside that hole right there, but it's also gonna help me during this video just so I don't have a whole bunch of wires and plugs going everywhere. Then you are going to want to take this end of your tubing and put this in the back of your bottle just like that this is not going to click or anything again you're just going to push it as hard as you can have that sit right there then grabbing your pump you're just going to bring this over and as you can see your tubing port is right there again this is not going to click either but you just want to make sure that that's nice and tight in there as well so as you can see you're all ready to set up and pump now I'm going to show you all the buttons and stuff about the pump on the back here. As you can see, this is your power button. This is your power port. This is where you will plug it in if it needs to be charged. Otherwise, it doesn't have to stay plugged in. Down here is going to be your pause, start, and stop button. This is a customizable timer. This is your rhythm button. There's two different ones. There's a signature, which is based off of their symphony pump, which is a hospital grade. And then there is also lifestyle, which just says that it offers a different rhythm. There is also the let down button over here. And this is to mute your buttons. As you probably heard, there's a little bit of a sound when you hit buttons. You could use that to turn off if you really don't like it. I like it because it lets me know that I'm actually tapping the buttons that I want to be tapping. This is decrease suction, this is increase suction. And like I said, you have the tubing port on the front here. And as you could probably see, this right here is a handle so you can lift it and hold it just like that. So that's about everything as far as the pump itself goes. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually start using the pump and how to log your pump inside of your app. Like I said, the power button is right here. You just hit that once. It's going to turn on, say hello to you. You're going to want to pull up your app right here. It's going to take a second to load your information, obviously. Then you're going to go down here to track, pumping. Oh, I actually accidentally hit the quick list. As you can see, it has a, a bunch of different information about your pump itself. It has 57% battery. It has um, my different pumping <laughs> log right there. So it has a lot of information right at your fingertips. So to start a pump session, I'm actually going to just put my phone down right here so you guys can see the different stuff that's going on between the two. But like I said, this is start, stop, and pause. So you just tap it once. It starts a pump session. You tap it once more to pause it. I'm gonna start it up again. And then you wanna hold it a little bit to stop it. So as you can see, and as soon as you stop pumping, it's gonna bump you over into this page. It'll have all this different information that you can input about it, about how much you made, from what side, what you were using as far as rhythm and section goes. And if it was good or bad, you can make your own notes. I'm, I'm just hitting save so I can get out of this. But that is about the gist of it as far as actually logging it goes. But I'll set this back down so you can see there's a ton of information that will pop up as far as what you're doing while you're pumping. As you could probably see, when I started the pump session, it told you, first of all, there's an air leak. That's because I don't have my breast on the shield. So it's saying that you know, there's an air leak, which I really like about this pump. So I took the tubing off. If I put my finger over it, it'll go away. So if you do have suction on it, it'll say that. But I also wanted to show if the tubing down here is too loose, it'll also say that it has an air leak. So see the air leak alarm is back. So whether you have a issue with the tubing or something's not on there, that's why it might come up air leak, but it is nice to know. As you can see, it tells you everything. Like right now, I'm in simulation mode. Now I'm in expression mode. I'm using a different rhythm now. Let me get this air leak alarm to go away. There we go. See, now you can see I'm in a different rhythm. You can see I'm back in rhythm one. 
So the app really does tell you everything that's going on with your pump. I really do like that. As far as actually using the pump, I would definitely recommend to start off low. I'm talking like level one. Because this pump does have a lot of suction, that's why I recommend that. Just slowly creep up. The balance you want to keep when it comes to pumping is you want to be stimulated but not in pain. That is very, very important. It's going to draw your milk out nice and efficiently, but it's not going to cause you any kind of nipple trauma or anything like that. It's a very delicate balance to keep, so I just wanted to be sure to say that here. Because the Sonata can be a little aggressive in my opinion, I was never more than a 3 on expression mode. I just could not tolerate above that. I'm sorry if this interface is a little hard for you guys to read, but um, during the daylight it is a little harder. It looks like it's coming up better on camera, so that's good. But that's about it as far as using the Sonata goes. I know it looks really complicated because it's got a whole bunch of bells and whistles that look Looks really fancy maybe it's hard to use but it's really not because look stop the pump session oh it just paused it make sure you're applying pressure when you're hitting these buttons it's a little hit and miss when it comes to me I'm used to my really sensitive iPhone I don't have to press very hard but with these buttons you do have to apply some pressure to really get it to react but like I said you just go through all that you can put whatever you want you hit save and there you go. So that is about everything as far as the Medela Sonata goes. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.